Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here and today I'm bringing you guys your new Blu-ray and DVD shopping guide for Tuesday, November 5th, 2019. As you guys can probably hear and probably see, I am starting to feel a lot better. Very excited to be able to actually talk this week. And um, I know I know I'm behind. Uh, I'm, I'm working on getting caught up. Um, I will be reviewing Primal and Danger Close this week, guys. I'm going to get those up as soon as I can. But um, I just have a lot of stuff over the last couple weeks I'm also going to be working on catching up on. Um, I don't think I have a ton of stuff to review for you guys next week, so... You know, maybe I can get caught up on some stuff. But uh, <laughs> uh, remember, you guys can find affiliate links to purchase these movies down description below. And using those affiliate links will help support the channel. So let's get into it, guys. First up, we have Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> uh, this one is going to release on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon Walmart, $29.96. Best Buy and Target, $29.99. Best Buy will have an exclusive 4K Steelbook, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital for $34.99. Now, I did get my copy in already. I'll try to bring you guys an unboxing of this um, early this week, but uh, it could be a few days. Uh, definitely a, a cool front cover on this one. Um, and I'm definitely excited to check this one out. I haven't seen it yet. Um, I hope I can get to it this week. It is also releasing on a Blu-ray DVD and digital copy combo pack. Amazon, Best Buy, Target, and Walmart, all $24.99. Target will have an exclusive gallery book, which will include Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for $27.99. Now, they're calling it an interactive gallery book, so I don't know if it's maybe something you scan with your phone uh, or how that works exactly. Um, and then finally, they'll be releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Walmart, $19.96, Best Buy and Target, $19.99. Next up is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so this one's going to release on a 4K Blu-ray and digital copy couple pack. Amazon and Walmart, $24.96. Best Buy and Target, $24.99. Best Buy will have an exclusive steelbook, which includes 4K Blu-ray and digital for $29.99. I did pre-order mine, but it has yet to arrive. Um, I, I think it said by Tuesday. I'm not sure. Um, I didn't check the actual tracking. So uh, again, I'll bring you guys an unboxing of that one. And that's another one I'm really excited to check out. It's also releasing on a Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy combo pack. Amazon and Walmart, $19.96. Best Buy and Target, $19.99. And then finally, it will be getting a DVD release. Amazon and Target, $14.99. Best Buy, $22.99 and could not find it on the Walmart website. Next up is Yellowstone Season 2. Last year, loved Season 1. I thought it was a great show. Definitely was excited for this one to come out. Um, it will be releasing on a Blu-ray, Amazon, Best Buy, and Walmart, $24.99, Target, $29.99. It's also releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Walmart, $19.95, Target, $22.99, Best Buy, $24.99. Paramount Pictures did send me over a copy for review. Uh, great looking packaging on this one. Um, let's see, how did this go? We have the episode guide here on the inside cover. And then uh, I didn't even look at the discs when I watched it. Uh, we do have unique uh, artwork there on the discs. Um, we don't have any episodes listed. I uh, believe it was 10 episodes, and they're, they're I think, a little less than their uh, hour, you know, 45 minutes or 40 minutes or whatever. Uh, it was a total of 469 minute run time so so it's less than 10 hours total now the first couple episodes of this one guys i really felt like they they really pulled it back and they're being like less just crazy and out there and controversial and i really thought they were just kind of pulling back on the show and i was just like you know I, i'm not saying that it wasn't enjoyable but i just didn't get that same feeling like i got in season one and then i would say close to halfway i mean there's a good episode and then it kind of slows down again. And then I would say, like, halfway through this, like, the story just goes insane, guys. And it gets so crazy and so interesting. And um, the ending of this, man, you, you just don't see the ending of this coming. It was, a, it was a great season, guys. I loved it. Like I said, those first couple episodes were a little slower, but it was a great season, guys. I gave this a 5 out of 5. I rarely give a 5 out of 5. But um, if you guys haven't been checking out this show, check it out. Um, it's a Western drama about these people who live in Montana and it's it's kind of almost like a soap opera-ish kind of feel of like all the stuff that happens but has a lot of action and violence and um 
It's just a really fun show. Next up is The Kitchen. This one is releasing on a Blu-ray and digital copy combo pack. Amazon and Best Buy, $19.99. Target, $22.99. And Walmart, $24.96. Also releasing on a DVD. Amazon on Target, $17.99. Best Buy 1999. Now Warner Brothers did send me over a copy for review and this has uh, Melissa McCarthy, Tiffany Haddish, and I don't know uh, what her first name is, Moss. I don't, I'm not sure who that is. Um, here's a look at the case. Uh, the disc is just a plain black, you know, pretty standard there uh, from Warner Brothers. Now this movie was about the area known as Hell's Kitchen in um, New York City in the late 70s. And um, these three women, their husbands are in the, I think it's the Irish Mafia, if I'm not mistaken. And they, I don't know, I don't know what's going on at the beginning. They're just kind of like dinks, you know, and they, they go to rob this bank and they get, a, or not, they go to rob a liquor store is what it is. And they get arrested and the women, you know, they, they don't have jobs. And uh, one of them, I want to say one, just one of them had kids and, you know, the, the family or whatever. They're like, don't worry, we'll take care of you. But they don't really give them enough money to get by. So they decide to kind of take over the business um, because the men haven't been running it right. And, you know, they want to be like, they want to run it right and make the money. And um, they kind of, uh, <laughs> like a lot of, a lot of kind of crazy stuff happens. Like one of them turns into like a murderer and, you know, they all kind of turn on each other. And, um, you know, it's an interesting story. I definitely for sure would uh, put this as Melissa McCarthy's best movie I've seen. I just never get her in the comedies, but uh, she did good in this one. Tiffany Haddish was also good. And like I said, whoever that is, Moss, she was good too. And it was an interesting story. So I give this one a three out of five. Next up, guys, Galaxy Quest on Steelbook, which includes Blu-ray, Amazon, $22.98. Paramount Pictures did send me over a copy for review. Now I did post an unboxing video for this one. And in it, I, I kind of explained I wasn't real sure because uh, Best Buy had released this, I think in September, and then Paramount in their paper, you know, their press release, they said it was releasing like October 22nd, and then Amazon has this listed as November 5th. So I don't know exactly what's going on there. Sometimes Best Buy will get timed exclusivity where they actually get it a little earlier, but um, I'm just, uh, Amazon does have this listed as November 5th, so you should be able to pick this up from Amazon. Um, nice looking steelbook. I love that cover art. It is a little strange. Um, Tim Allen's kind of the main character, but he's um, behind Sigourney Weaver. And um, the inside, though, I didn't, I didn't care for so much. And it's just standard Paramount disc. So this movie, to me, it kind of, it, it really walks the line between making fun of Trekkies and paying homage to Trekkies. So in it, these, these uh, I don't remember what it was, five or six people or whatever, four people, um, they they were all on this show called Galaxy Quest, and it was ended like 18 years ago, and they're just all doing like conventions and gas station openings and all this stuff, and there's all these, you know, people that go to the conventions, and they're like super into the show, and uh, what happens is these aliens, the Thermians, uh, had somehow intercepted the transmissions, and they think it's like real life. And um, they're at war and they, they come and they ask the, the people from Galaxy Quest to come help them. And they go and um, they obviously don't really know what they're doing. But they've kind of built all their stuff based off of uh, what they saw on the show. And it's definitely a fun movie. Very interestingly, uh, for a movie that came out in 1999, I want to say the effects really hold up well. Um, there is a rock monster and the effects don't hold up so well on that. And some of the scenes where it interacts with Tim Allen, you know, is real obvious um, green screen work. But um, other than that, I, I was really impressed on, on how well this movie held up. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a comedy. It's a sci-fi and action. And um, it's just a lot of fun. Justin Long also is in this. Rain Wilson. Um, Alan Rickman. Tony Shalhoub. Uh, so I give this one a three and a half out of five, guys. It was, it was definitely a fun movie. If you're a Star Trek fan, you're willing to make fun of yourself, you know. Uh, this is a cool movie. Uh, next up, Universal Soldier is releasing uh, on a 4K Blu-ray and digital copy combo pack. Amazon, Best Buy, and Walmart, $17.99. Target, $19.29. Lionsgate did send me over a copy for review. There's a look at it. Uh, I think it just had a real plain discs. Yeah, black for the 4K and blue 
for the Blu-ray. So I popped this one into the 4K player and there's this beginning scene where they're in the jungle and it's like dark, but there's like lightning and stuff. And I just, I, I thought it looked so good. I was just really impressed on the visual quality of that scene. To me, the rest of the movie, I wasn't really that impressed by anything. Not to say that it looked bad, but I just, I didn't really have that feeling of, man, that looks good. And I didn't get a chance to compare the Blu-ray, so it's hard for me to say um, if this movie is really an upgrade over the 4K, but um, I thought it looked good, you know, especially that beginning scene. So if you guys haven't seen this one, Jean-Claude Van Damme and Dolph Lundgren, and they're in the, I believe it's the Vietnam War, and um, Dolph Lundgren goes crazy, and he's like killing everybody and cutting off their ears and turning them into ear necklaces and stuff. And then Jean-Claude Van Damme goes to stop him. And they both end up getting killed. And the army kind of like hides them. And they turn them into like these... They bring them back to life. And they turn them into these super soldiers. Like it always is with these kind of movies though. You can't really get rid of their personality. Or erase their memories. And uh, Dolph Lundgren goes back into that. I gotta kill everybody from the Vietnam War kind of thing. And Jean-Claude Van Damme goes back into that. I gotta save everybody kind of thing. And it's kind of like a battle between these two and, of course, all the other Universal Soldiers and whatnot. It's a good movie. It's a fun action movie. Van Damme is nude. <laughs> uh, but I gave this one a three and a half out of five, guys. Definitely a fun movie if you haven't checked it out. And um, no complaints as far as the 4K. Next up, The Art of Racing in the Rain is releasing on a Blu-ray and digital copy combo pack. Amazon and Walmart, 1996. Best Buy and Target, 1999. It's also releasing on a DVD. Amazon and Walmart, 1796. Best Buy and Target, 1799. Now, Fox did send me over a digital copy to watch on this one. Uh, this movie is about this guy who is a race car driver. Uh, he's not like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe. Like, he's a professional, but he doesn't always seem to have a job. Like, he just kind of picks up jobs here and there racing. And he meets this woman, and they fall in love, and they have a kid, and it's kind of like their story together. Now, the interesting thing about this is it's told from his dog's point of view. Um, the dog is the narrator, and he's kind of telling the story of their life together and it was super interesting like the way they did it like i know it sounds a little weird but it was it was really interesting um and, it, and it's it's hard to say this kind of but the dog really made the movie like the just the guy who narrated it um he he really made the movie and i i recognize the voice but i can't think of who the heck it was off the top of my head but um he, he did a really good job and it, it really made the movie. It was a really interesting story. Uh, it's a sad movie. It's definitely a sad movie. I don't want to give away the details, but it's definitely sad and, you know, kind of a uh, one of those movies you probably cry at and you, you kind of like get angry in it too. And um, definitely has kind of a, a, fu a fun ending to it. And I definitely enjoyed this movie, guys. I think it was a great movie. Uh, probably my favorite movie. Uh, of the week, I gave it a four and a half out of five. Next up, Santa with Muscles is releasing on a Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart, $8.79, Best Buy, $8.99, and Target, no listing. Next up, Moana is releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart, $29.96, Best Buy and Target, $29.99. Best Buy will have an exclusive Steelbook version, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital for $34.99. I did also pre-order all these new Disney Steelbooks. Again, I haven't got them yet, so I can't show them to you guys. Big Hero 6 will be releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart $29.96, Best Buy and Target $29.99. Best Buy will have an exclusive 4K Steelbook for $34.99. It'll include 4K Blu-ray and digital. I loved Big Hero 6, great movie. Um, I'm not sure, I might have a review up of it, um, but I definitely loved it. Tangled is releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart $29.96, Best Buy and Target $29.99. Best Buy will have an exclusive Steelbook, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital. For $34.99. Next up is Zootopia releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart $29.96. Best Buy and Target $29.99. Best Buy, you guessed it, will have an exclusive 4K Steelbook, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital for $34.99. Next up is The Princess Frog releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart $29.96. Best Buy and Target $29.99. Best Buy will have an exclusive Steelbook, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital 
for $34.99. Sorry guys, I am starting to have a little bit of trouble uh, with my voice, but um, we're getting we're getting towards the end of this thing, so uh, we'll just power through it. Shaun of the Dead will be releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital copy combo pack. Amazon and Walmart $21.74, Target $21.99, Best Buy $22.99. Hot Fuzz is releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart $21.74, Target $21.99, and Best Buy $22.99. And World's End will be releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart $21.74, Target $21.99, and Best Buy $22.99. So those three already released in a three pack and I think it's quite a bit cheaper to buy the three pack. So I'm not sure, um, <laughs> I'm not sure why they waited to release the originals at a higher price, um, but um, yeah. And next up is Gothic Harvest, releasing on a DVD, Amazon Best Buy and Target 9.99, Walmart no listing. If you guys check this one out, be sure to let me know what you guys think of it, uh, if it's worth picking up or not. Uh, next up, Prey will be releasing on a DVD, Amazon Best Buy and Target 9.99, Walmart no listing now I got one more thing for you guys and out now uh, the swan princess was sent to me for review from Sony this is the 25th anniversary blu-ray yeah, it's just a plain white disc I guess it's kind of weird um, I had never seen this one before obviously I'd heard of it um, but it's it's kind of like this uh, musical fairy tale about this um, this young prince and princess who are kind of brought together because one day they'll be married and so it was like every summer or something they would spend time together so they could try to fall in love and this guy he's like cast out by the king and um he ends up putting a curse on the princess that she has to like she has to she will be a swan unless the moon is on the lake and then she'll turn into a human, but she has to be at the lake when it ha I don't know, it's a little complicated. But, um, so she has to try to convince the prince somehow that she's the princess and he has to break the spell. You guys know what um, this kind of movie's about. You know, this movie was okay. You know, I definitely think this is more aimed towards children. Uh, my daughter was definitely enjoying it. There's a music number, like, every other scene, like, or every scene. Uh, to me, it was just too much music. Um, but it looked really good. It was definitely a good looking movie. And, you know, the story overall was interesting. Um, so I gave this one a three out of five. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys plan on picking any of these up, well, let me know down in the comment section below. If you have seen any of these and you guys want to share your thoughts, be sure to also share that below. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe for more videos, check out suggested videos, and for more movie news, check out my website, bobsmoviereview.com. And then I will see you guys next time.